Hello, everybody. What do you say, gang? It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. This is in case you missed it. Hit the subscribe button. Please like, share, leave a comment if you would, if you uh, so desire. And if you've already, uh, if you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you'll know when our episodes are going to be on. Of course, we'll be live um, Thursday at 1030 for the People's Platform, your chance to get on here if you so desire and talk about what's on your mind. Um, also coming up tomorrow will be just some things to think about. That's what we normally do on Tuesdays. And on Mondays, we have, in case you missed it, take a look back at uh, some things that have happened today and uh, over the weekend. And um, I want to start us off here with a look at what's going on in CNN right at this moment. Um, some Trump records given to the January 6th committee had been ripped up. Uh, the documents had to be taped back together by National Archives staff uh, before being sent to the committee. That is uh, normally referred to as uh, an, an attempt to destruct evidence. Uh, Mike Pence's former chief of staff testifies in the January 6th investigation. Former Pence aide explains what his testimony might reveal. Uh, of course, uh, I ran against Mike three times when he was a congressman here in Indiana. And uh, I actually know his, uh, his chief of staff. Uh, he's a decent guy. Mike did the right thing by uh, not certifying, by by certifying the election and not uh, committing a federal crime as at the behest of Donald Trump. Trump, uh, as you know, this is in case you missed it, Trump had a rally over the weekend, and we're going to touch on that in just a moment. But I, I had to bring this up because this was just, uh, this was just incredible. Uh, Ted Cruz, senator from Texas, calls Biden's promise to nominate the first black woman to the Supreme Court offensive and insulting. Um, we don't tell you what to think on here. We just give you things to think about. And um, a couple of other things to think about. Uh, Joe Rogan, his remarks, quote, I'm not black and uh, Daily Show's host reacting to that, a story you might want to uh, take a look at. Um, we're not progressing in uh, ending racism, okay? Um, we're not. Now, who is the, uh, who is the um, nominated person that Senator Cruz is referring to? No one in particular, all black women. Um, the Biden administration has released uh, a list of probably a dozen, if not more, um, current black female judges. And uh, Cruz is, uh, it is insulted and offended um, by the fact, I'm assuming that they are black and female, which is incredibly troubling. Now, um, on the surface, you might say, well, all Republicans are like that. Let's take a look at this. Are widely considered to be on the short list. D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, California State Supreme Court Justice Leandro Kruger, and Michelle Childs, a federal judge on the District Court in South Carolina. Her name, the only one officially confirmed by White House officials as being under consideration after they had to put a hearing on her nomination to the D.C. Circuit on hold. Childs drawing praise from fellow South Carolinian Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. She's considered to be a fair-minded, highly uh, gifted uh, jurist. Um, she's one of the most decent people I've ever met. It would be good for the court to have somebody who's not at Harvard or Yale. She's a graduate of the University of South Carolina. President Biden saying he'll make his pick by the end of February. And Senate Democrats saying they'll expedite the process as much as possible. With so... Um just something to think about. Ted Cruz calls Biden's promise to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court offensive and insulting. Florida governor says people calling for him to condemn Nazis are trying to smear him. 
again, just giving you some things to think about. Uh, we talked a lot last week about what's going on with Russia and the Ukraine. Uh, the United States sent a uh, written proposal to Russia. Moscow has responded in writing, and uh, the State Department says it would be unproductive to negotiate in public, so we'll leave it up to Russia if they want to discuss their response. I'm assuming the response is not a positive one. Um, so I, I mentioned this early. Trump had a rally over the weekend, and uh, I want to get rid of the advertisement there if I can. <laughs> of course, not, not going to let me. Uh, Trump's rally in Texas. Um, basically, he said that um, he was going to pardon everyone from January 6th uh, that was part of the insurrection when he's in office, and he's going to... Uh, make those pay that weren't loyal to him. Um, a, a Not your normal political rally, because we're not going to tell you what to think or how to think here. Um, sports, spoos, sports crossing over into the news, uh, in case you didn't know, in case you missed it. Uh, Damon Arnett was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon over the weekend. He was a, um, he was a member of the, uh, Raiders and we talked about him. He had, uh, been cut by the Raiders because of a video displaying, um, him making death threats with a weapon. Uh, he's now been charged in a separate incident. He was picked up by the Kansas city chiefs and signed to a uh, futures contract, which means he had the opportunity to make the team next year. Uh, they dropped that contract upon learning of his latest arrest. He's been charged with five felonies, two accounts of assault with a deadly weapon, one account of possession of a controlled substance, one count of possession of marijuana or cannabis, and one, one count of carrying a concealed gun without a permit. And, uh, Here's a, just a brief look at uh, a troubled young man, in my opinion. Um, but again, we don't give you what to uh, what to think or how to think. Uh, just things to think about, and you can, uh, of course, find that on TikTok. Um, there we go. Oh, and uh, I was going to close with. Uh, uh, don't be a doofus. And uh, I just closed the tab by mistake. So let me see if I can pull this up real quick. And um, I can't. So um, there we go. We'll end with this. Some more spoos. Sports crossing over into news. That's what S-P-E-N-S-P-E-W-S. Spoos. Sports and news combined. Cincinnati Public Schools will be closed the day after the Super Bowl. In case you missed it, Cincinnati Bengals upset the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes and uh, are heading to the Super Bowl two weeks from yesterday in uh, Los Angeles, California, where the Los Angeles Rams will be their opponent. Um, having spent a lot of time in southeastern Indiana, I'm uh, I'm guessing some uh, some Indiana schools uh, down there along that area um, might have some attendance problems on the day after the Super Bowl as well. A lot of Cincinnati Bengals fans down in uh, the southeastern part of Indiana, what's known as the tri-state down there, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. So congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals and uh, uh, one of my former um colleagues in radio, uh, Randy Clemmy. We did the big show together for a little while um, on WIFEFM. And he was a uh, was and still is a uh, incredibly massive fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. So I um, want to say congratulations to him and to all the long suffering Bengals fans. It had been uh, it had been um, I think it was 39 years since the um, since the Bengals have uh, made it to a Super Bowl. They they have never won a Super Bowl, um, but it's been uh, that long 
since they have uh, since they have made it to a Super Bowl. Um, I was trying to find our doofus of the day, but uh, I can't seem to find the video. Um, so we will call this a wrap on the uh, in case you missed it. Um, here's one thing I do want to I want to touch on. Um, you booked up. Never mind, we won't do that. We'll just call it a wrap because um, I don't want to have to redo the whole thing here. So we will be back um, be back tomorrow with uh, just some things to think about. And um, Wednesday, I'm trying to set up a guest for Wednesday for uh, a discussion on cryptocurrency. If you are a purveyor of cryptocurrency, if you're an expert, uh, send me an email and you'd be willing to come on and talk about it. Uh, send me an email because I think it's a discussion that we need to have. Then we'll be back on Thursday uh, with uh, the People's Platform and your chance to come on and talk. I will see you then. Uh, see you tomorrow for just some things to think about. And this is, in case you missed it, it's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Until next time. Email AmericanDoofus at gmail.com. Like to help support the show financially. You can do so with a small donation through Cash App, dollar sign, American Doofus, all one word, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N-D-U-F-U-S for Doofus. Thanks again. I love you all.